Welcome to another wonderful edition of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. And today we have a very special episode for you. We're going to unbox an NBA Hoops 2020. But, uh, I got this at Walmart, and there's a chance to get a Zion Williamson rookie in there. Uh, the beauty of this is that they're all sold out in a lot of the stores now. They cost $20 originally, but they're selling for $50 to $55 on eBay. So I went and I bought about 25 boxes. I cleared out, cleared out a couple Walmarts. But a good investment, good retail p- potential. Um, you can sell them on eBay or you can open them up and try and pull a Zion rookie worth about 50 bucks. So we're going to do that today with an extra box I bought. Oh, well, that's nice. Well, don't open it yet. I can't wait. Oh, we, we need to wait. All we right, need to tell right. people. We'll put this right here in between us. And we'll tell people about the various things you can do um, going to Walmarts, going to stores like that. Um, a, a big place is when something's going out of business. Do you remember when uh, Media Play went out of business? Oh, yeah. That was that was fun time. Fun time. It was something like 90% off or something like that. And uh, Mr. Magazine and I went there and we purchased a large stock of the magazines that they had and a lot of strategy guides back in the day. So that had to be, what, 2000, geez, 2010, 2009? Yeah, it was at least 10, 11 years ago. Something or other like that. And another thing that we bought, well, we called them the monolith. What were they, Mr. Magazine? It was a 1,000-pound shelving unit, double-sided. Um, it, was, it was a sides were triangular shape, but it was about 8, 9 feet tall, and it, it, weighed, it felt like it weighed 1,000 pounds, pretty darn close. Yeah, it looked like the uh, 2001 Space Odyssey, the big, <laughs> big giant monoliths, and uh, we bought a couple of them, and I don't know how we ever got them in our house, uh, and how you got them there in the store, and you got them upstairs, and we ended up having to cut them actually in half because they were too big to use as they were. But we didn't pay uh, forty dollars, something rather like that, for them. We paid basically nothing yeah, for cheap. them, and those things had to run, oh, hundreds, hundreds of dollars, thousand dollars, something like that, brand new. They're the biggest shelves I've ever seen. And you can also go um, buy other things, shelving units. You can buy there. You yeah, can buy showcases, display cases, yeah, display yeah. showcases, yeah, lighting, whatever you need, fixtures, you name it. Yep. So that's a wonderful place to buy things like that when they're going out of business. And then you can also buy things to be selling on, on eBay and Amazon as well. Usually they, they go at 10% off and work their way up, but the biggest problem you have when you're going there at 10% off is it's 10% off of retail. And then by the time you add in all of your fees and all that sort of thing, you're not actually making anything. So then they usually go, what, 10%, 25%? Yeah, 25, 50, 75. So then when you start getting around 25%, when you can start thinking about, is it worth buying? But the other problem is a lot of other people are doing the same thing. Exactly. Um, so a lot of times you hold off to 50. Now I remember one time we had Keldor, which is a discount store up over here, and they had a spawn mobile. What does that go for nowadays? Any idea? Uh, Mint in box uh, is about at least 50 bucks, 75 maybe on Amazon. Which actually that has not appreciated much because I think it was something like that new back yeah, in the day. I think it was 30, 40 bucks new. And uh, they had it for 90% off. So I think I paid them three or four dollars on it, and I ended up selling it for $25 plus shipping. And I was happy as anything about that because I paid three dollars for it. Now the box was all beaten up, and I think that's why everybody else had passed by it. But so yeah, I don't know when when that was out as well, 2012, something rather like that. That was a long time ago as well. But uh, so always watch what stores are going out of business. I'm sure a lot of people did the same thing when Sears was going out of business. Uh, you know, anytime you hear something in your area. Uh, is it Pier 1, I believe, is having some problems now. You can probably go there and buy things as well. Um, so look for things that you can pick up and, and you can sell quickly. Um, you, a lot of people do f- fulfillment by Amazon. But the other thing you may want to do is you do pick it up, wait for uh, the glut to end, and then you can take the things, you can sell them on eBay after a while. After everybody else sells theirs off because they go and they pay $3 for it and they sell it for 5 and they're happy, you wait a while and you can get 7 to $8, $10 out of it, whatever. So, all right, the suspense is killing me. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Give me a minute to open these things up. I always have trouble. There they are. That would be SW, shrink wrap, for those who don't know. We have a video about that as well. It has a Panini logo on it, so you know it's legit. It wasn't reopened. Yeah, somebody somebody didn't take it and return it or anything at all like that. Are you going to help me open some? Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. We get here... One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna six, guess seven, eight, eleven. Nine, ten. Eleven packs. That's right. I could have just read the box. The wonder of reading. All right. Pick your poison. I'm gonna take this one. Now, the thing we used to do back in the day at the shops was uh, what they called pack poker. Pack poker was fun. You remember that? Very that was fun. always fun. 
course, back then I knew how to open plastic. Tim Hardaway Jr., Mo Bamba. Why'd I get a whole pack of Dwight Cousins? All right, no Zion in this pack. Uh, Serge Ibaka, like his 19th year, that's got to be really good, right? Rookie Remembrance, Sabanis. Oh, that's pretty cool. Jersey car, so I would win that pack. You definitely win that one. Yeah, it's a bonus game jersey car. Nice. Package number two here, and I've not got any better at opening them. Okay, I will. Oh, here we go. Oh! Carl Anthony Towns. Julius Irving. I didn't know he was still playing. <laughs> Let's see. DeAndre Hunter insert. Otto Porter Jr., John Wall. All right. Yes. A rookie I cannot pronounce. Yes. All right, you won that one. So we're, we're going 1-1. One, one. All right, next one. Whoever, whoever wins gets to open the last pack as the tiebreaker. Trey Young, second year card. Ooh, there we go. And I still don't know how to open these packs. I'm going to have the hang of this by the end of the segment. All right, another rookie I can't pronounce. Christoph Persingas. Yep, Spencer Duh, Duh, yeah, yeah. Boy. And I think you get one rookie per pack, so. Is this a rookie? Uh, that is a insert. Oh, insert. John Collins. I'd rather have it be a Joan Collins insert myself. Yeah, we're really uh, getting the young viewers right. nowadays, aren't we? That's right. No Morgan Fairchild references? No. no though we do sell her magazines. There you go, Flamingo Road. Nothing. I got duds. Bunch of duds. Michael Porter Jr., Gordon Haywood, Chris Paul, J.J. Redick. Yep, Brooke Lopez, Chris Paul. Oh, boy. We're coming <laughs> down to crunch time now. Walmart knew what they were doing. Hey, I finally got one open. Zach Levine. DeAndre Jordan. Come on, Dana Zion. Green. I can feel it. I can feel it. Another Luka Doncic. Three rookies, but no good ones. Oh, Luka's good. Arriving soon, Romeo Lankford, whoever that is. And Shaquille O'Neal. He's going to be good. I think he's going to make the Hall of Fame one of these days. You, you bought it, you open right. it. Clint Capella. Paul George. Anthony Davis insert. Zion rookie, the last pack, oh, baby. Oh, wow. Wow. Here we go. Nice. So you can make money shopping at Walmart. <laughs> Proof right there. Nice. So for, if there's anyone shopping your local Walmart, you're looking for any 2020 hoops boxes or any basketball box with Zion in them. Can I have the Otto Porter Jr.? Sure. You got it. 